Hello and good evening everybody, 21st Century Jedi here. Um, welcome to a, another Sunday edition of Beat the Blues for Monday. Um, I hope everyone out there is doing great. I am doing okay, it's been a pretty good weekend for myself. Um, did our friend's car get fixed? <laughs> Come right to the point, don't you, Foxfire? Good to see you too. Um, yes, as a matter of fact, that's part of the reason why my weekend went well. Um, the, the car has been fully fixed at this point. Uh, yeah, it was, um, it was a little bit of an ordeal, but not too bad. Um, I discovered that, uh, finding the bolts that we needed did not go like we wanted to. We, we would spent maybe an hour looking around at different, um, hardware stores and auto parts stores trying to find like replacement bolts for the, uh, the the part that we were putting into his vehicle and uh, you know it turns out we were able to use the original ones I was just hoping to get the better ones if I could but that uh, that just didn't work out so we put it all back together we figured out why the gap was there for the the piece uh, that we were putting in and stuff we fixed that and uh, got all the error lights to go away and he was able to drive that home no issues so uh, very very happy about that uh, let's see what else. I fixed a couple problems at work yesterday. Um, very pleased to, to have gotten that done, so I don't have to think about it tonight. Tonight I can just kind of relax. Um, got to see Back to the Future in theaters yesterday with my uh, granddaughter and my wife. Uh, very happy to do that as well. That was fun because um, it was Back to the Future Day yesterday. And, uh, you know, I had a great time. Um, my granddaughter is now at the age where you can actually, you know, take her to movie theaters, I think. So that's something I'm looking forward to in the future. Uh, it's tough sometimes when they're young because you don't know, like, um, can they sit through an entire movie or, you know, are they going to run around and stuff like that, which is why you don't want to bring them to some movie theaters. But uh, she did a great job. I'm very proud of her for that. All right. So today, I hope I'm doing this right here. Let's see if this will work. Get this loaded. So today we're going to play Asylum by Screenplay. Um, this is a early 80s game, I believe, for the Commodore. And there you are. Look at that loading graphic. huh? Uh, that's a very nice loading screen, i got to say. Um, I'm actually quite impressed with that for a, a bitmap um, from the early 80s for a, a text adventure game, basically. That's a pretty cool... Like, it, it kind of captures everything you want to know about the game, you know? Um, you got a crazy person reaching out of a circle right at the screen to you. I mean, that's quite clever, I got to say. So, um, what do we need to know about this one? Let's see. Um, so, this was done by Med System Software, actually. I said screenplay before because um, screenplay was originally Med System Software. And if you guys remember Med System Software from an earlier stream, that was the same company who developed The Wild. Okay? Uh, I don't believe it was the same uh, individual who created the game. Uh, it was by William F. Denman Jr., who I don't have uh, any information on as of this moment. Uh, it was actually released in 1981 as a text-based um, adventure with simple line graphics. So it kind of gave you that first-person perspective, even back in 1981. Um, there were some other games that Med Systems have released like this, like Rats Revenge, Death Maze 5000, and Labyrinth, with the same kind of graphics. Um, the sequel, so I get this now, the sequel was actually released in 1982 called Asylum 2. Uh, that was later enhanced with bitmapped graphics, color, and improved descriptions, and released simply as Asylum for the Atari 8-bit family in 1983, and Commodore 64 and IBM PC in 1985. So, um, that gives you kind of the convoluted way of, of getting to the point where we are here with Asylum. Ooh, that's kind of spooky. All right. Um, well, let's go ahead and read into this then. So it says, the late 1970s saw the advent of a new game genre, the computer adventure. As the years went by and the games became more involved, society noted a strange new mental illness. This illness resulted from an inability to distinguish reality from fiction and was directly attributable to a deep involvement in computer adventure gaming. 
kind of sounds familiar. <laughs> um, that's still going on today. Um, it's not often. It's not widespread or anything like that. But people do have an ability, inability sometimes to distinguish reality from fiction. And it's not just computer games. It's, it's a lot of different things. Um, media that you consume. It could be a movie. could be a concert. could be anything, really. Um, there's, there's something in your brain sometimes that kind of says, hey, you know, this is your reality now. And this is, you know, where you, you want to be or where you should be at this point. Um, so... Sometimes individuals have that difficulty to do that. I know I've, I've actually known an individual who um, used to play Dungeons and Dragons. I used to play with him a lot um, when I was younger uh, with a group of friends of ours. And it, it got so much to the point that he was so immersed in the game that it was difficult for him to distinguish between fantasy and reality. And uh, he actually had to get some help for that. So, um, yeah, that's, it's a real thing. And, uh, for anyone who is out there struggling with that, I do recommend you try and get some help with it. Um, don't be ashamed to do that. You know, don't be ashamed to get help for something like this because it can really, really affect you in, in such a negative way that it, it could even harm you or, you know, potentially do something that shortens your life, you know? So please, um, I'm not saying, you know, do away with computer games or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, if you feel like you have an inability to distinguish reality from fiction, no matter what it may be, please try and get some help for that. And, uh, you know, reach out to somebody for it because they can help. You know, people are a little bit more understanding than you might, you know, believe them to be. So please, please go seek that help if you need it. Okay. The mental health specialists of the 21st century constructed great mazes populated with cyborg opponents. Into these were thrust the ill to reachieve a fiction-reality dichotomy and thus to re-enter society. These mazes were named for the illness, adventure syndrome leading to ultimate madness. A-S-Y-L-U-M, if uh, you weren't paying attention. Asylum. But sometimes the cure is worse than the illness. Do you wish to reload a game in progress? We're going to say no. You are in a room with a bed. You see the Asylum logo. A camera watches. You see a box within reach. In the box there is credit card. You may ask for help at any time. Okay. So, uh, as I bring up the walkthrough here, I do want to kind of point out some things that I love about this game. Um, and... The game itself, I don't know about the, the, the gameplay in terms of like the actual solution, because I've kind of been reading through the solution itself, and it is kind of weird, you know. Um, but what I like about this game and, and why I'm picking it to kind of you know highlight it here on the stream is for a couple reasons. Number one, of course, kind of gives you the creepy vibe, you know, about the asylum and stuff. Ooh, you know, it's all scary stuff. Uh, so it's fitting, you know, for the Halloween season and stuff. But what else I like about this is, um, again, back in the early '80s, when you had a text adventure game, or, or let me let me back up even a further with that, when you had games, you had limitations as to what kind of games you could play. First-person shooters almost didn't really exist back in the early '80s. Okay, in fact, um, the the first first-person shooter that is recognized in history is, uh, I believe, Wolfenstein 3D. And that didn't come out until the 90s, I believe. Um, could have been earlier than that, but my, I digress. For the Commodore and for systems like the early 80s, those computer systems from then, um, you didn't have first-person shooters. You had platformers, you had 2D side-scrollers, um, not a lot of 3D stuff. You might have had some isometric 3D stuff, which again, some cool stuff there. But if you didn't have that, you didn't have the, you didn't really have like these fast moving, you know, really challenging graphical games sometimes. Um, some of you did, but uh, those were kind of uh, in their own category of arcade game and stuff like that. For other um, genres that you could go into, it was adventure, adventure type games like this, where you had. Not as much action, but you had a lot more strategy, more thinking, more, um, you know, puzzle type challenges. And that's where the text based adventure game really kind of boils down to. And they, now, text based adventure games go back before the Commodore and before, you know, the early 80s and stuff. 
What's great about this one that I like is the fact that they combine text with graphics. So you can actually see what you are being given in terms of a description. Um, a lot of times when you played a text game like this, you'd only get the text. And you saw that with uh, The Lurking Horror. Uh, you'll see it when we play Zork and all the Zork games. Uh, there are some other ones, I think, um, I think Tracer Sanction, maybe, or Rendezvous with Rama, though that, I think that might have had pictures, too. Some did have pictures, some didn't, um, and it's, it's difficult sometimes to play those types of just text-only adventure games because you're really relying on what you're given for context clues from the text itself. If, if it's not there, you can't see it. Um, you kind of have to kind of guess sometimes as to what the game wants you to do next okay this i like because again it really kind of gives you the look and feel you can see where you're at you can describe what's going on and you can kind of you know get yourself into the full thing there so um the first thing we're supposed to do um we'll take the card um i think we can say take credit card you are carrying the following credit card perfect um, oh, right. I got to get the maps open. That's right. Hold on just a second. I don't have the maps. All right. So we're on map one. And we are on step one there, okay. So we need to move to the section in this map for part three, I think. Let me see if I can bring that up. Okay, so, uh, let's see, room with a bed. I don't know which way I'm supposed to, am I supposed to go west? Uh, let's see, help. Vocabulary, slideshow, unused, okay. Let's see what vocabulary gives us. These are all our commands. Uh, not in any order. <laughs> Let's see, do they have move, walk, anything like that? Examine. You get to walk fast. A lot of different things you can do here. They basically give you the whole lexicon that you can use here. All right, so let's um, move west. Open door. Uh, turn west. Turn left. Oh, you don't know anything here, do you? Um, look. Uh, examine room. I see nothing special. Oh, well, that's great. Use credit card. Wow. We're really striking out here. Unlock, let's see, put. I don't know where I see the asylum logo camera watches. I don't know what you're supposed to do here. I can see where we're at on the map. What I can't see is how to get out of here. It just says um, turn. 
look right. Up. Well, something happened. <laughs> I saw something fall on us. Oh, there we go. Something fell on us and led to our death or something like that. You see, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this again. No. Get credit card. Help. Uh, try examining things. Great. Slideshow? It's loading something. Oh, this gives you like a sneak peek as to what you might see in the game. Interesting. Let's go back to our game. We don't want to give away too many clues here. Uh, exit. I do not know the word exit. Examine door. Yeah, you're not helping me here. So this is the frustrating part about adventure games, is trying to determine the lexicon and, and what to walk through and do here. Um... How do I get out of here is the question. What's our lexicon give us again? Toss, examine, look, inspect, read, clue, hint. I don't really tell you much about movement, though. Uh, let's go with a hint. Try examining things. Examine bed. Examine logo. Examine camera. Yeah, that's not very helpful. Examine room. Great. Yeah, this is not very helpful. Exit. Ugh, what am I supposed to do here? I don't even see, they don't even describe a door here. That's the problem. Let me try a different walkthrough and see if we have something. Let's see. Looks like nothing there. You will not be able to move around in a room, it says. Okay. Oh, I think you got to use the cursor keys, huh? Let's try that. Um, aha! Turn to the right. This is a hint. Remember it. Always pay attention and look in devious places. The author, William Denman, is insidious. Well, that's nice to hear. Okay, um, back to the map. So we've left our room. We need to go to... Where? You can you hear? Let me out! I know how you can escape. Turn to left. Splat. Uh, uh, use credit card. Uh, open door. Unlock door. 
credit card. Unlock door with credit card. Electronics wine, the door is now unlocked. Thank you. Open door, you fruitcake. Jeez. Okay, found something I don't like about this game. It is a little bit too specific. You are in a room with a bed. I uh, apologize for the goofy graphic there. I'm not sure what's going on with that. If that's the emulator or if that's the game itself. Uh, he is quite mad. He tells you, you are in William Denman's asylum. To leave, you must find the doctor's exit. To get through it, you must look like a doctor. Find a doctor's coat, perhaps the psychiatrist. Good luck. This inmate runs away screaming. You are in a room with a bed. You see the asylum logo. A camera watches. So we're supposed to leave here and go to the door leading to map two. Okay, this is a little creepy, honestly. The gray walls, the black ceiling, and the white floor. Not knowing what's around the next corner. Alright, so... I guess we're supposed to go this way. And turn right. This way, and go up here. Splat. Uh, open door. Unlock door with credit card. Gonna do a lot of typing tonight, I guess. We Pass through the door. You hear a clink off in the distance. Something is dropped in the maze. You hear psychiatric mumblings. You are in front of the psychi psychiatric office. Thank you. <sighs> Alright, so we need map two. Oh, I love how they did that. That's fancy. Don't do that, please. Just show up properly. Thank you. All right, let's see. From map one, we are right there. Um... Then return to point A on map 1 and pick up the gold card. Okay, so I guess we need to go through this door to make the gold card drop behind us. So we need to go through that door, back to map 1. I don't know how you would have figured this out, really, unless you did a lot of playing of this game. Um, so we got to turn left, go through the creepy hallways. Uh, i got to maze myself here. Hold on. Walk my way through this. Walking. Am I going the right way? No idea. I'm kinda lost now. Won't lie. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this is the right way, Homer. Where did I go? Let's go to the bottom here. Uh, yeah, I'm lost. Oh boy. Not a lot of doorways either. Where's this at? Hmm. Don't know. Hmm. Let's go this way. Wow. Yeah, this is just confusing. I have no idea where I'm at right now. 
I'm just kind of walking around aimlessly until I see something that might look like a landmark here. So we got this three, and a hallway there, another hallway there. Well now, this is tricky. We're going around corners, not sure where we're going. Oh, this is a long hallway. Hmm. It doesn't look familiar though. Very twisty, turny labyrinth here. You are standing in front of the phone room. All right. Uh, phone room. Where are you at? Okay, I think I went all the way up there. So, I need to turn around first. I think I know where that is. I see that on the map. So, I need to go this way. Through this little serpentine place here. That way. Uh, left looks like it's bad news. So, I'm going to go right. Down this hallway. Here I gotta go right around this corner and then go all the way down. According to this, I should go all the way down, take a right. I think, yeah, I wanna go this way. I hope I got this right. Turn around. Right, so there. Yeah, I see it now. Okay, so this way. And then straight. Take a left. Straight, take a right, go that way to there, then I need to take a left. Through there, this way, down to the left. Aha! Found the gold card finally. <laughs> so, according to the walkthrough, the gold card is going to give us access to just about everything, I think. All right, so now we got to wind our way back to the rooms we were at and pick up the rocket belt. <laughs> okay, then. I seem to remember this game having more random encounters. I don't know why. So down this way, take a step there. I want to go left this way. And here I want to go all the way to the end of the hall. Take a front left there, forward, right, down, left, then a right, go around this corner, through here, up here. Now we're back to our doors and we need to open this door. Unlock door with credit card. Oh, this card doesn't activate this door. Unlock door with gold card. There you go. You are in a room with a bed. You see the asylum logo. A camera watches. Yeah, I think I've seen this before. 
Uh, get rocket belt. Okay, it doesn't say to wear the belt yet, so I'm going to leave that alone. Save game. Somebody already did this, apparently. Uh, we'll use area two. Comments, 21st century Jedi. There we go. Yes, I'm crazy, and yes, I'm trying to escape the asylum. So now that we're there, we have to go to rooms 4, 5, 6, no, 4, 5, 7, and 8. Oof. Okay. Let's uh, leave the room. We, gotta go, we have to go this way. So we'll do this. Turn left, go around this corner. We don't want to go that way. We just need to go this way. Up one left. Go there now. Left this way. Go down this hallway. Turn to the right. Goodness, this is confusing. Left, and then down, and right through here. And then I gotta take a left. I cannot imagine trying to figure this out on my own. All right, here's where all our doors are. We need to go to the first one down the hall here. You're in front of the fuse room. That's wonderful. Okay, this is the door we need. Uh, unlock door with gold card. I'm just going to use the gold card. Oh, unlock door with credit card. Open door. Okay, you see a box within reach. In the box there is bird costume. Well, get bird costume. this room. Go to a door here, and this one we need to open unlock door with credit card. Open door. Ah, oh. Lovely! An alarm sounds. Too many doors have been left open. Guided by cameras, automatic system sees you from below and pull you into the refuse system. You are ripped to shreds. The author, William F. Denman Jr. Mike, appears. <laughs> well, that's that. You weren't sane or insane enough to escape William Denman's asylum. As I am the author, this is my picture, <laughs> I can give you the option of playing again. Do you wish to play again? Uh, yes. Yes, we're going to reload game two. And we're going to go back around and close some doors, I think. Uh, where are we? This was room two, right? So we're going to close some doors here. Just to help us out. Alright, so now we're going to go back through here. Left, then go. Let's see. Now we have to go one left back to here. Down this hallway. Take the first left round through here. Take a left. Go around this corner and 
go all the way down to the end of the hall. Uh, unlock door with credit card. Open door. Go through. Get bird costume. And we will leave the room. Close door. Go to this room. Unlock door with credit card. Open door. Beanbag. Get beanbag. Sure. Okay, close door. Ah, thank goodness for typing classes. Now we're not supposed to go to the fuse room yet. Um, I think I see the markings and I understand the markings on the map. Now I think the fuse room was opened with the gold card. Let me see if my hunch is correct on that. So that's the fuse room. That's that. Skip that room, skip that room, go to this room. Unlock door with credit card. You're in a room with a desk. It is well lighted and a camera watches. You see a box within reach. In the box there is stethoscope. Well, that'll help us be a doctor, won't it? Close door. All right, we got to go get one more thing here. Open door. You're in a room at the desk. It is well lighted. The camera watches. You see a box within reach. In the box there is silver card. Get silver card. Pretty sure I understand the markings on the map now. All right, so we got those things. Proceed to point G, which is right around the corner from us, apparently. But I have to turn around to get to it. To go all the way down the hall. Spooky place. Go down here. Right here, apparently. Alright, so it wants us to drop bean bag. Right there. Okay. Um... I'm going to save the game here. Okay, so now we are supposed to run to the end of the hallway. Is that right? Yeah. Run. So this is a long hallway. Eventually we get to the end. Splat into the wall. Because we're a crazy person, apparently. Uh, let's see. Turn around. Wear belt. Okay, we got the belt on. Press button on belt. All right, let's see what happens here. Ignition, you are accelerating. Ha <laughs> ha! You begin decelerating. The beanbag cushioned your impact. Lucky you. The rocket belt has exploded, leaving only some copper wire. In the box, there is copper wire. So we probably want to get copper wire, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know if we need to get the beanbag, if the beanbag even exists anymore, so whatever. So now we have to go back to the fuse room, because that copper wire is going to come in handy. Oh, goodness sakes. This is probably the random encounter that I was waiting for. A sickly-looking inmate approaches. She is obviously a hypochondriac. She is muttering about her heart. 
Huh. Okay, so here's where it gets creepy. Uh, give stethoscope to inmate. The hypochondriac thanks you and begins listening to her heart. Now it tells you to do this. <laughs> this inmate runs away screaming. In the box there is drugs. Get drugs, apparently. Uh, too bad. I was hoping to hold on to the stethoscope. Anyway, uh, we are where now? I think we need to go here and then go this way. That looks right. Four, five. Here's the fuse room. Now, according to this, I should unlock door with gold card. Am I right? Yes. Okay, so I get the markings on the map now. Open door. Perfect. We're going to move through. Do, do, do. You are in a room with a fuse box. The ever present camera watches. Examine fuse box. The fuse box seems normal enough. It is a maze of circuits and fuses. Now what they tell you to do is scramble fuse box. You have scrambled the fuses in the fuse box. A heavy power surge slash demand could mean trouble to the electrical system. I think we're going to need that later. Okay, so we've gotten to that point. Now, <laughs> the next instruction, go and pick up the axe at point B. <laughs> oh, this will end well. <laughs> uh, point B. Wow. Okay. So, leave the room. Close door. We got a long way to go to get there. Wow. Uh, going to go all the way to the end of the hall. There. Okay. Two steps there, and then let's see. We gotta get to B in the quickest way possible. Um, looks like I, oh boy, I gotta cross that way and then up and through this way. Oof, I'm gonna save this. So I am right there. Let's save game here. Seemed to have lost my pen. Here it is. Okay. All right, so from here, we are supposed to go. I got to try and map my way through this. So one, two, three, we're there. Turn here. Follow this to the end of the hall. We're there. Turn left. Up one. Forward. Forward. And then we turn left. Now we're up. Oof. Turn right. Yep, we're still good there. All the way to the end. Left. One. Take this left. All this through. One, two, three. Take a right. I give them credit for the way that they design the graphics on this. That's, in a way, it's part of the challenge um, because since they made all of the walls and ceiling and floor look very similar no matter where you go in this maze that's the challenge of it you know you need to be able to to pace yourself through you know 
This view is like the, I'm guessing the NES game, Swords and Serpents RPG game. Yeah, um, this is like a lot of them. Uh, Bard's Tale even, you know, kind of rings a bell for me on some of this stuff. Uh, Wolfenstein, um, just, this is where all the the 3D stuff came in, really, when they had this isometric view that you could use here. Um, it's, it's interesting to see the evolution of video games sometimes. You know, you can see where people kind of got things and where their influences came from when they started designing games later. Uh, let's see, so we have to go... We are up there now. We have to get to B? Jeez. Um, according to the map, there's only one way into that area. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, this is going to get interesting. Let's see. So, this thing there. We don't want to take this right. We want to take the next right. Step through here. And at this point, where we're standing now, there's going to be a wall, apparently. So we need to go step up here, take the right, go this way, step this way. In the box, there is axe. Get axe. Okay. At this point, a wall across the exit is being built. Dotted line on map. Keep track of where you're going now. Um, go back towards the exit and you'll run into an electrician. So if we go back the way we came... Well, this could be the electrician here. An electrician appears, approaches. He holds a fuse. He's holding a sign that says, look up. So, <laughs> if you remember what I did in the first game, I did look up and something fell on my head. We're not going to do that. Apparently, we're supposed to do this. Kill inmate with axe. You hack the poor guy to bits. Oof. In the box there is fuse. In the box there is sign and fuse. Uh, let's see. Get fuse. I don't think we need the sign. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, we are supposed to go this way. This way, this way. Here, I think, is where we're supposed to hack wall with axe. The wall disintegrates under your attack. No other walls in this building will do this. Aha! So we found it. Okay, so just to explain that, um, had we just kept going around and around, when you look at the map, you're basically going in a... It's a circle, basically, but it's a very windy circle. It kind of gets you lost the left and right and stuff. So what happens is you go across that threshold, you get to point B, you get the axe, and then you're stuck. Because then as soon as you get the axe, the wall is up, right? Um, and then it's if you don't pay attention to where you are in, in this little loop, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be hacking every wall until you try and get out which that may or may not work. Okay, so we're going to save game here. This is the furthest I've ever made it into this game. I've wandered around in this game before trying to figure it out when I was younger. Didn't have a walkthrough or anything like that. Just randomly running around picking up stuff. Did had I really had no idea, like what to grab and stuff. I think I might have gotten the gold card. I might have gotten the credit card and stuff, but um, 
I didn't have like a full walkthrough to go through all these things. So this is interesting. We're supposed to go to the end of this hallway, turn right, and then go to this hallway. Here we've got a bunch of stuff. Uh, we have to close door and lock door with silver card. Do this with all the doors? Hey, there are only a tw total of 20. Arg, what an awful puzzle. This will make the unseen character drop something nearby. Look behind all of the doors and you'll eventually find some matches and a candle. Oh boy. This will be fun. You hear running feet and someone hitting a door. Someone curses you. Close door. Lock door with a uh, silver card, right? You hear a whining. The door is now locked. Okay, let's do this one. Yeah, this is a crappy, crappy puzzle, apparently. Bear with me here, folks. I'm going to do a lot of typing. You hear running feet and someone hitting a door. Someone curses you. Stepping again. Tiny bit peckish right now, so I'm going to try and cure that. <sighs> Apologies for eating in front of you all, but I had a light dinner tonight, so I want to try and uh, make sure my stomach doesn't turn myself to bits here. Okay, all doors have been closed and locked. This will make the unseen character drop something nearby. You hear running feet and someone hitting a door. Someone curses you. Something drops somewhere. Move forward one step. Okay. 
so now we are at the end of the hallway and we have to start unlocking all of these doors and looking inside until we find matches and a candle. What a crazy puzzle. Oh. Was not expecting this. Where is that? Oh. Wait a second. Can we go to all of these? I wonder. Oh, interesting. We can just go all the way in, huh? Get matches. Get candle. Um, I guess you don't need to look behind all of the doors. I think that's the silliest part. So we will go back the way we came, just to make sure we keep the doors closed. All right. So they don't say anything about Area 9 yet. I don't think we're supposed to do that. We are now on to map two, so I gotta move to it first. Now walk through here. We'll save game. Okay, so I'm supposed to go right from here. All the way to the end of the hall. Right. Left. Wind my way through here. I believe I'm supposed to go left here. around this corner. I'm supposed to go all the way to the end of this hallway. And then take this right. Now we're back here. I'm going to close this door just to help us out. We are on map two. Let's do another save.
just trying to read through the clues here. What we're supposed to be doing now, according to this, we're actually in a hexagonal area now, not just a simple labyrinthine maze. We're facing the exit door to map one. That's the psychiatric office. We don't want to go in there. We actually want to go get some surgery right now, apparently. Now, this is a little bit misleading, I think. You hear silence on the set action. That's the film set. That's got to be this right here. Now, it looks like we're doing a 90-degree turn here, but actually, we're not. Um, we are actually making like a, you know, 60-degree turn so that we can have this hexagonal thing. You can smell hozone, your flesh crawls. I seem to remember that one. Um... I remember the ozone flesh crawling statement. You were in front of plastic surgery. Um, can we? Let's see. Unlock door with credit card. Unlock with silver card. Okay, um, this map is not marked the same way as the other maps, so I'm assuming all these are gold card doors. Open door. What will this screen look like, I wonder? Ah! You are in a well-lighted room. You notice the ever-present surveillance camera and the asylum logo. You see a plastic surgeon. He looks ready to operate. Excellent. You have drugs for anesthesia. I will give you a new face. You are being operated on. You have left the room. Your face now looks like Alfred Hitchcock. Okay. You notice that I didn't really have a choice in the matter. I just walked in, and because I had the drugs, boom. I'm supposed to look like Alfred Hitchcock now. But this is a good thing. Um... When you first play this game and you don't know what the heck's going on, this can be a little bit jarring to you, I think. Um, so, it's okay. Um, this will help because you can change your face more and more uh, in this game. So, we need to go to the film set, which is back the way we came. Here we go. Unlock door with gold card. Open door. And you may be asking yourself, why is there a film set here in an asylum? I'm guessing it's because everybody's crazy here. You are in a room with a bed. You see the Asylum logo. Camera watches. A hokey-looking movie producer is here. Mr. Hitchcock. I don't believe it. Here, please take my camera. In the box, there is camera. This inmate runs away screaming. Get camera. So now we're supposed to wander around for a bit. Let's close door. So I'm just going to go the way we came again and just keep walking until we are interrupted. There we go.
a swarthy guard approaches you. He is unarmed, but you shouldn't attack him. He is big. Mr. Hitchcock, what an honor. Are you making a movie? Uh, okay, say yes twice. The guard asks, may I be in your movie? Maybe just a small part? Yes. Great, what kind of costume will you give me to wear? Guess what? We're giving the guard the bird costume. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> the guard dons the chicken suit. What kind of chicken program is this anyways? The guard changes clothes. In the box there is uniform. Get uniform. Hmm. So this is where we want to be now actually is the therapy. Let's save the game first. Let's see, two. That was crazy with the chicken head on there like that. That was hilarious. All right, so now that we've done that, we need to go through the therapy door here. So this is going to be shock therapies, but because we've done the thing to the fuse box, we should be okay. So we're going to unlock the door with gold card. Open door. Go through the creepy room. Here we go. That logo is pretty creepy. You are in a well-lighted room. You notice the ever-present surveillance camera in the asylum logo. This looks like trouble. You are in the electroshock therapy room. Voltage on! A fuse blows! The entire asylum blacks out. I hope you have a candle. Something is heard falling to the floor. In the box there is battery. Um, I think we can get battery, can't we? Yep, we got the battery. Lights candle with matches. Aha! Now we're really doing some, some chaos here. Okay, so now we're supposed to go back to the fuse room. Let's close the door to the shock therapy area. Turn left. Go through here. Now we're supposed to go through this door. Let's close that. And now we're back to map one. Okay. Uh, we need to get back to the fuse room. We can do that by turning this way. Going this way. Take a left and go all the way down this hall, I think. Oof, my head is hurting a little bit. I think it's because of the, the headphones right now. They're just kind of hurting my ears a bit. I'm going to go this way, this way, down to the right. The left. Oops. This way, up this way, and then all the way down to the fuse room. Oh. Did we miss it? 
Apparently this is it. It's not telling me. Unlock door with gold card. Open door. <clears throat> this has got to be it. All right, fuse box. Um, insert fuse in fuse box. The lights all over Asylum suddenly turn on. Okay, so we fixed the, the electrical problem here. Now we're supposed to go to the phone room. That's the area that we haven't been before. We're going to close this door. Now we need to wind our way to the phone room. Uh, just to do this, I'm going to say, uh, let's wear uniform. Save the game again. To do that. And now we're supposed to get all the way to the phone room and then do some stuff in there. And then, so we go all the way down there. Gonna wind our way over there. Wow, this is gonna be fun. Um, doors are on our left. Yep, we wanna go all the way down here. The flame on your candle sputters out. The candle's been used up. Okay, I guess that's done. There, and then we're supposed to go up, and then across to there. Up one to here. Forward, that's going to go there. We're going to go all the way to the end of the hall here, around this corner, take this left, and then wind our way through here, okay, um, open or unlock door. Old card. You are in a room with a phone. An electronic eye watches. All right. Hack phone with axe. An alarm sounds. Fortunately, you are dressed as a guard, so no one bothers you. Coins fall to the ground. In the box, there is coins. Uh, get coins. Hack receiver with axe. Magnets fall from the phone receiver. Uh, get magnet. There we go. <clears throat> Apparently they want us to drop the uniform and get the uniform again. Let's save it first before we do that, because I'm afraid if we take off the uniform you might get noticed. Now we're going to go back over to map 2 right now. You're in a room, OK. 
Okay, uh, so we're supposed to drop uniform, get uniform, and then close door. Now we have to go back this way. don't want to go left, we want to go right. And when we get to here, we want to take a left, I think. Pretty sure I need to go left here. Yeah, because if I go that way, that's going to be bad. And here's the door to map two. Open door. Perfect. There we go. Um, back to map two. We need to go find the scientist now. We still have the copper wire, that's good. Let's take a left. Someone is mumbling scientific jargon. Well, now, we'll lock that door with a gold card. <sighs> well, now, how oh, there? Howdy there, Helga. You are in a well-lighted room. Oh, I just didn't see it. Um, so basically, because we had the magnet, the battery, and the copper wire, uh, she says, at last, all that I need to complete my portable time stasis unit. It is now yours, but beware. It will only work twice. The red button activates it. In the box, there is generator. So we want to get generator. And then we can leave this room. So that's one drawback to this game is they don't allow you to see the entire description before scrolling past it all. Um, now we need to go to the therapist, I think, right here. Unlock door with gold card. Open door. Jeez, dude. I don't need to see your crotch. My goodness. You are in a room with a desk. It is well lighted and a camera watches. You are in a psychiatrist's office. Okay. Um... I don't know. We could talk to talk to psychiatrist. I wish I could, but I can't do that. He begins talking to you soothingly, hypnotically. Okay. Press button on generator. That's what they tell us to do. Time begins passing around you at an enormous rate. You are in a room with a desk. It is well lighted and a camera watched. In the box there is smock. The psychiatrist is gone, but he left his smock. Wearing it may make you look like a doctor. Get smock. Uh, wear smock. There we go. So now we're supposed to go here, close the door, and 
according to this, we're supposed to just go here and then here. And this is the end of part one of this walkthrough. So we'll save the game again. Two. Okay, um, let's go back to that walkthrough now. So now we need to unlock door with credit card. Unlock door with gold card. Open door. Okay, so now this is supposed to happen, I think. <clears throat> uh, an armored security guard bef appears before you. He is heavily armed. We here in Asylum find it amazing that you have gotten this far. You are obviously smarter and more cunning than any of us ever realized. However, your escape cannot be allowed just now. We have a problem. An inmate calling himself the Master Mystic has isolated himself somewhere in another maze. He poses a great danger to us, yet we have had no luck in dislodging him from his, his hiding place. If you can find the Mystic and rid this institution of him, we will let you go free. Yeah, right. We will require proof of your success. To help, we will give you a pass card that will allow access to the greater portion of the mazes you have not yet seen. Good luck, and let's be careful out there. When you are ready to start this quest, press Y, and you will be placed back in your room to rest. Don't really have a choice now, do we? So we're back in our room. Get a platinum... Hard. Great. Uh, so we're supposed to go to map 5 via map 2. So i got to wind my way back through map 1 to get to map 2. Wonderful. Close door. Alright, wind our way through here again. This is easy. We just keep going this way. And this should take us to the door. Open door. Go through here. Uh, turn around, close the door. So now we're in map two. Switch back to that one. Now we're supposed to go around to map five. Just go this way. We're supposed to unlock the door with, I assume, the gold card. Oh, unlock the door with platinum card. Open door. Membership has its privileges. Close door. On to map five now. Okay, oof, this looks pretty daunting here. Not gonna lie. Go to point H. That's from map two. We're up there then. Um, okay. Point H is over there. We should be able to go here. And then, let's see, i got to get down to point H. I think I can go all the way down, turn left, 
take a left here. You hear keystrokes. Someone is programming nearby. Oh, wonderful. Sounds like me. Someone is humming a tune. All right. Uh, what else we got here? I'm going to go down this way. And then this way, take a left, around, take a right, and then this right here. You see a box within reach. In the box there is banana peel. You slip and fall on a banana peel. Are you a clumsy oaf or what? So that's once. We have to slip on it again, apparently. These flashing screens, man, they they could give you seizure uh, without warning. This is a, I guess this game was made in the days before seizure warnings in video games. Well now, aren't you pleasant? The oddest looking lawyer you have ever seen runs up. She says you should sue. Sue them blind. But I don't sue. I am sue. Here's a law book. Do it yourself. <laughs> In the box there is banana peel and book. All right, so we're going to get the book, I think. I believe that's a book on law. If we examine the peel, oh, we need to get peel. Examine peel. There's a caterpillar that drops from the banana peel. I think we need to get that. Okay. We need to go to point F to get the rope. Easiest way to do that. Of course, now I don't know which way I'm pointing here. This way. Yeah, that looks right. So if we go left. We're going to go up here. Right, up, one, take a left, go there, down here, take a right, this way, that way, up, go all the way down this hall. Imagine trying to give directions in this place, oh my god, be awful. Turn left. You need to take this right. And this right. And there is the rope. Perfect. Save game. Oof. Rock and roll, baby. Uh, so we need to go to... From here, we got to get a rat suit from a certain room. And then we have to go to area D. I have no idea how they expect you to get through that. Okay, uh, so we're at point F. We need to turn back around. Go down, cross, take a left, up, right, forward, take a right, left, right. Go into that room. Unlock door with platinum card. Open door. Go through the door. Get rat suit. Crazy. All right. Anybody follow along with this so far? I've gotten Sentinel level up to five right now. Oh, you naughty boy. 
getting the Sentinels to, to bash down on you in NMS, huh? Okay, um, so now we gotta, now we got through this, let's leave this, we're gonna close this door, and now we're supposed to go area D, this is gonna be the crazy one, so I'm gonna definitely save this at some point here, I need to go this way, all the way down here, and I'm supposed to go down this way, and I think this is the area. They said this was difficult to map, so I guess I'm just going to follow what they have for directions here and hope for the best. We're going to save the game again. They are the corrupted ones. Ooh. What are you doing shooting sentinels up for, huh? I thought you were trying to avoid them. So according to the walkthrough, this area is supposed to be very difficult to map. So they just gave us kind of like these directions to go like forward, left, right, and so on. So we're going to try and do that. I went to a facility from a map. Well, that was your silly mistake, huh? <laughs> what are you doing going to facilities for? Crazy guy. All right, here we go. Ready? So we're going to go forward. An eerie voice says, beware the twisty passages all alike stuff <laughs> so we turn left go forward 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 got it turn left forward forward turn left forward turn right forward turn right this is where we get the knife turn forward left forward, left again, turn right, forward one, turn left, forward one, turn left again, forward, turn right, forward one. I think we got to turn right, forward, forward, turn right, forward, and now what? Doesn't say to do this doesn't say what you do after this. I think I think we're out of the maze now. I have no idea. Um I went forward here. So now what am I supposed to do? Like, where is this? That's the thing. The map doesn't tell me, like, where does it put me out? I came out that way. If I go left, where does this take me? No idea where to go. No idea where this is going to take me now. Hmm. I got to stumble into something here. I think I saved this. This looks like it's all alike. Cause I'm going the same directions basically. Although this looks different. Where is this at? Hmm. Very interesting. I don't know where to go here. Just pick a direction, I guess. If you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there.
Yeah, these are all the same. Look at that. Now where am I at? I need a door. Someone give me a door. We're lost, but we're making good time. Hmm. Oh, great. I think we're back where we started. This way. This way. Forward. Oh. A door. That's not what I was expecting. Save game. I'm going to save this in a new slot just because if I'm really lost uh, lost 21st century Jedi try that worst case I can go back to area 2 and go through this pathway again and try and figure out where I got lost and then pick up the knife again Unlock door with platinum card. Open door. Where are we? Oh, great. What the ham sandwich? Are we back in map two? Close door. We might be in map two here. I think, therefore, I am. That's not... That doesn't sound familiar. What's happening here? Uh, this might be map three. Let's look ahead. Yeah, I think we wound up in map three. Because if I keep going here and. Ooh, odd. You hear the patter of hundreds of tiny feet. Where is that? Yes, we are in map three now, which we didn't want to do yet. Or no, yes, we did. We're actually in the right spot. Um, that's cool. So we stumbled somehow into the right spot. We were actually supposed to be, after we leave and get the knife, and we're continuing on here, um, we're supposed to actually be here, which is good. So we will unlock door with platinum card, open door, and go through. Now this should be the spiritual master. You are in a well-lighted room. You notice the ever-present surveillance camera and the asylum logo. You are in the presence of a great spiritual master. He sits serenely in a lotus position. Easiest one, two, three, TM and the AM and the PM. <laughs> a little reference to lotus one, two, three there, I think. Um, he seeks and needs a book on law. Give book to Guru. Amazing how that fits together. The Guru levitates away. <laughs> In the box there is scroll. Let's get scroll. Alright, so apparently we're supposed to use this scroll to end the game. So this is, this is a key piece at this point. Let's go ahead and close the door. Now we're supposed to go to the exterminator. 
which is supposed to be to our right. Start weaving our way through here. Should be this door right here. You smell bug or rodent spray. Yep, there you are. Unlock door with platinum card. Boom. Open the door. Step through. When standing outside... Oh, crap. We messed up. We messed up. Okay, good. I think we can do this again. Uh, Tiptoe. Okay. Open door. Oh, unlock door with platinum card. Open door. Tiptoe. Okay, so we had to get into that room stealthily. So I failed my stealth check the first time around, but he just threw me out. Uh, there is an exterminator here. He is fogling, fogging the pestilence. Um, tie exterminator with rope. Wow, he looks mad. You see an exterminator. He is securely tied up. You have neatly bound and tied the exterminator. This may make it easier for you later. Yeah, so apparently we're supposed to do this to prevent him from coming back in the game. Um, all right, so now that that's done, we have to go and find a terrorist. This game just gets better and better. Examine knife. Looks like a Harakiri knife. Uh, ceremonial blade used to commit suicide. Oh, lovely. Okay, uh, so we need to go this way. You smell gunpowder. You sense violence. Ha <laughs> uh, Let's just do a save game. Save it on this one. Learn how to type. There. Oh, excuse me. Not sure how far I'm going to make it through here, but... I'm getting to the point where I might need to break here. I don't know how much longer I can go with this. All right, so now that we are outside the, the terrorist door, unlock door with platinum card. Open door. Go through. All right. You are in a room containing a vending machine. A surveillance camera watches. You see a beautiful but dangerous terrorist. She sullenly eyes you. So what you're supposed to do is kill myself with knife. You plunge the knife into your breast. Unbelievable. You're, you still live. It was a trick knife. A stage prop. The terrorist praises Allah. And does what? For your great self-sacrifice, thinking you dead, she leaves to spread the story of your selflessness. Behind her is a vending machine. So we were just trying to get rid of her, I guess. Um, it's a broken vending machine. Because we have a coin, right? Uh, inventory. Examine vending machine, just so we can verify it. Examine machine. Oh. The vending machine dispenses bombs. 
Okay, I, I'm not going to put the coin in because I think that might break my game here. So I'm going to assume that it's broken. And we need to go and get to map 5 and get <laughs> the author. Lovely. How do we get there? We have to go back to map 5. Turn left. We're walking this way. That's map 4. This is supposed to be map 5. Go through that door. Close doors behind me. Go to map 5. And that was map 3 that I just came through. So now we got to go to 25. Oh my goodness, it's all the way up there. Ugh. So we are looking the right way. We're going to go this way. All the way up to the end, I believe. Let me double check this here. Okay. So we're up there. We need to... Ugh, this is going to be ugly. So we got to go that way. Do this, and go through here, this way, that way. Go to that, around this corner. I think we can just go this way, this way, turn the corner, go this way, and go all the way up here. Now we have doors. We need to go all the way. Someone is humming a tune. You hear a keystroke. Someone is programming nearby. Aha. Yes, I remember this now. Unlock door with platinum card. Open door. So the reason why my ear is hurting is because these are new glasses for me. Um, they're slightly stronger reading prescription, but unfortunately, the I'm still getting used to the the frames themselves. The author, William F. Denman Jr., Mike, appears. So you've found the broken vending machine and need a clue. Better than that, I'll reprogram the machine. It'll only take a second. There. Now I'll find a quieter room free of users. So we ran into the author of the game himself. Great. Close door. This game just gets stranger and stranger. Now we have to go back to map 3 to get a bomb. Ugh, great. Uh, let's take this way. This way. And down this hallway. Go that way. Uh, let's see if we should be able to go this way. Take a left. Trying to figure out the easiest way to do this. Go forward, take a left, take a right, forward, and left, take a left and right, get to this point, take a left. Right, all the way down this hall. And then down this way, and there's my door. Open door, get through, close door. So now we are back at where? Map 3, I think? Yeah. We have to go back to the room with the terrorists. Which, uh, it would be faster to go this way. One, two, three. Open door. There we go. Should have the... 
vending machine there. You're in a room containing a vending machine. Surveillance camera watches. Insert coin in, coin in machine. Something drops from the vending machine. It looks like a bomb. Get bomb. Beautiful. Now, uh, the next part is the catapult room back at map 5. So we're going to be doing a lot of these transitions between map 5 and map 3, apparently. Let's close this door. We've got the bomb. Save the game again. We're going to go back to map 5, get to the catapult room. Ugh. This next part looks to be a bit frustrating. So, let's just try and get through this as best we can. We might wind up stopping after this step. We'll see. Uh, let's see, i got to go one more. I think this is my stop. Go through. We're back at map 3. Or map 5, I should say. From there, we need to get to... Okay, room 23 is not too far away. Close door. We want to go to the right and then through here. Go this way. Take a quick right and then you are in front of the catapult room. Okay. Um, unlock door with platinum card. Open door. Now we're going to save it again. So this is supposed to catapult us somewhere, and it's going to be tricky to get out of, I think. Excuse me. You are in a room with an electric catapult. An activator button can be seen. Hmm. Okay. So what we're supposed to do first is put bomb on catapult. Now the bomb is on the catapult. Press button on wall. I got a sentinel multi-tool. Sweet. And there goes the catapult. The catapult is sprung. You are in a room with an electric catapult. An activator button can be seen. The bomb flies upward and blows a hole in the ceiling, which we need because otherwise, if we jumped on the catapult, it's going to thrash us right into the ceiling and we'll die. Um, sit on catapult. And now press button on wall. Where does this take us? And we get flung. The catapult is sprung. You are in a room with an electric catapult. An activator button can be seen. You are flying like a bird. And I don't know where I'm at. You see a box within reach. In the box there is jar. Get jar. Beautiful. Okay, there's only one way to go at this point. So out the way we can. Revolving door. Splat. Um, this is fun. Where am I at now? 
Revolving door. Revolving door. Revolving door. That's fun. Let's go this way. One, two, three. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at right now. I'm hoping I'm outside of this. Let's go this way. Oh, it's a revolving door, apparently. Yeah, they said this is the annoying part of the game. Um, no idea where I'm at again. Oh, apparently we're still in the revolving doors. Aha, there's a hallway. That looks promising. I think... Is it this one? Yeah, that looks very promising. Where am I supposed to go, though? Uh, I want to stay away from the revolving doors if I can, so I'm going to go this way. If I'm right, then I need to get back to map 3. So I want to keep going forward this way. This way. Forward. Take a left. And then now, uh, which way? Left or right? Just looking at this maze here. I think the simplest way is to go right. Yep, and then turn left. So I found my way on the map. That's good. I want to keep going forward. Take a right. And go forward one. Then go this way past room 24. Go around this. Closed door on the catapult room. Take a left. Go that way. Take my first left. Go that way. Take a right. Take another right. Get to our doorway. This gets us back to map three. Good. Closed door. All right, back to map five, map three. One, two, five, three, sir. Now we gotta go see the entomologist who is in door 19. So we have to take a left, walk this way. Such a weird looking, weird looking passageway. Um, here's where we gotta go. All right, so now unlock door with platinum card. Open the door. All right. Entomologist. You are in a, in a room with a bed, you see the Asylum logo, camera watches, you see a wacky looking entomologist who studies insects. He sees your caterpillar is very curious. Give caterpillar to Class A ship. Nice, dude. I think I just got the Knight Rider ship and its color scheme is orange and red. Class A ship. Nice, dude. I thought it was a Class C at one point, though, wasn't it? The 
entomologist is overjoyed with his new specimen. In gratitude, he parades his trained army ants before you. The ants enter your jar. You have a jar of ants. Killer ants! On my solo game, it is a class A. Wait a second. Oh, okay, so this is different. You're on your solo game. Right, okay, got you. Cool. Yeah, definitely want the class A ships if you can. Okay, um, I think what I'm going to try and do is this last part, and then I'm going to call it a night, because there's still a decent chunk here. Well, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it through all this tonight. I think I'm going to... Yeah, they're going, they're going across different maps and everything. So I need to finish this last part up, and then I'll leave the finale for next time. Maybe tomorrow night I'll finish up Asylum, and then we'll move on to another game. So I just left the Entomologist there. I need to go back to Map 5 and go to the Tourist. Should be right here. Go through that door. Close door. All right. Back to the other map. I'm supposed to go to area 26. Oh gosh, it's still a long way. So this way, all the way up this hallway. Left this way, I believe. This game feels like it's giving me vertigo too, but I know it's just that my glasses up and then to the, that way, and this way, all the way up here. You have to go to the person who's humming a tune. Right here. Unlock door with platinum card. Open door. Go. You're in a well-lighted room. You notice the ever-present surveillance camera and the asylum logo. You see a plump picnicker eating his lunch. He ignores you. <laughs> what do you do at a picnic? <laughs> you have ants. Uh, open jar. The army ants march from the jar, jar and rip the inmate to bits. Oh, how brutal. In the box there is lunch. <laughs> Get lunch. Okay. All right, close door. And that's going to do it here. We're going to save the game. So tomorrow night, I will finish this one up. And then, uh, let's see, tomorrow night, after we finish Asylum, I'm still torn between, like, Mail Order Monsters or Diablo 2. Kind of leaning toward Diablo 2, just to keep the creepy factor high. And leaving Lurking Horror for maybe next Sunday. I think, I think we could use a little bit of a break from the text-based adventure games at this point um, after we finish this one up. So let's, um, let's do this. I'm going to call it a night for tonight. We will resume this game tomorrow evening. And then uh, from here we'll go on to Diablo 2, I think. And then um, Wednesday we'll do our typical Pool of Radiance. And then move on to um, World of Warships probably Thursday evening.
So that's going to be the schedule for this week. Um, that's it for me tonight. Uh, Foxfire, you have yourself a great evening and have a good week, everybody. Um, take care of yourselves. Do what you need to do for your mental health. Um, get help if you need it. Have yourself a good night, Foxfire. Um, take care of yourselves, everybody. Um, I know the work weeks can be tough, so do your best to try and get through it. Slog through it one day at a time. Do things that make you laugh. Um, watch a funny video. Watch a bunch of funny videos if you have to. Um, hang out with friends who make you laugh. Do do whatever it takes to get your get a smile on your face. Um, there's got to be stuff that everybody's kind of gone to, that little go-to thing that says, hey, this is going to make me laugh. And no matter how many times I watch it, I never get tired of it. I, it makes me laugh. could be a movie. could be a TV show. could be you know videos on YouTube or something like that. Whatever it is, do it. Keep your mood up. Keep your spirits up. Bubbles up. And uh, do what you got to do to slog through this work week. I believe in you guys. Okay? 21st Century Jedi, I am signing off, and I will see you all tomorrow night.